We honestly woke up this morning thinking that Sandy was going to leave us behind and we could turn all of our attention to the northeast. Well, Sandy is not done with North Carolina, not by a long shot. Let me start by showing you all the debris down the beach here. There are some big pieces of wood. Those gigantic nails were ripped off of this big plank last night at about 7 o'clock when the Avalon Pier over my shoulder buckled. Two huge gaps in this pier. Now, if you take a look at some of the videos shot by our Terrence Evans a few minutes ago, you can see why. This is storm surge like no one expected. It's been going on for well over 24 hours. The consistency of these waves is the big story. Let's start by taking you several miles south to us near Rodanthe. One of our viewers sent in these pictures of the dunes. Not only were those dunes flattened, cars were covered in sand, and large parts of Rodanthe and Hatteras Village are underwater. Back up north to where we are right now, this pier, and as you can see, all the tourists who are coming to take pictures, is really indicative of the problem right now. The size of the waves, the consistent wind now has the water going well over these dunes and closing up some of the major roadways. Now we got a ride along with a woman who's lived here for 20 years, works for a realty company, so she knows all about this island. She showed us exactly how bad it's gotten. I've seen things today that I haven't seen since probably about 15 years. If you look to your right, you're going to see the ocean all the way here. Can you see those waves all the way look down there, Terrence? That's incredible. Look at it. And those waves look, will come right over that sea, coming right over the dune. And, and this was not supposed to be like this. Did I hear it? they may be shutting the road down now? Yeah, I heard they might be shutting the road down now. Um, I don't know where people are going to go. Well, we're off the main road. We're making um, a straight shot over here to the west side of the island. This was bone dry yesterday, is that right? Right here was okay. bone dry, like out to that first dock right there was bone dry. You could see grass growing. It's, now it's starting to come it's back It's coming in. up to right here, it's what does that mean? Do you feel like we're getting close to flooding here? I do. You're saying this could be up in people's yards in a matter of hours? Oh yeah. Okay, oh, yeah. well let's get out of here. All right, let's go. Right. Trying to get this road cleared. Uh, <laughs> Quite a mess. You've seen the pier fall, you've seen the dunes, and I, I can hear you crying in some of the video. I mean, this, this gets to you guys. Oh yeah, it really does. It just puts us, you know, behind the eight ball again, you know, trying to rebuild and make it nice again. And now have to start all over again, it just, it hurts, it hurts your heart. Well, on top of all that Kelly just shared with us, it's incredibly cold out here right now. Uh, about a 25 degree drop in temperature. The wind chills are now well into the 30s here on the coast. And then there's the tragedy of the HMS Bounty, which about 50 miles off of this shore had to abandon ship. Again, take a look out here and you can imagine what it was like for a boat a sailboat to try to make it through these waters. Unbelievable that they were able to rescue 14 of those survivors. Two of them are still missing. So the rest of the nation is really turning its attention to the Northeast as Sandy makes landfall. It's going to get bad up there. We can't believe how bad it still is here in North Carolina. We're at Kill Devil Hills. I'm Penn Holderness, NBC 17 News.